Hi guys, it's Amber from Amber Eats Books. And I'm here today to bring you my nonfiction November TBR. This um, is being hosted by Olive from A Book Olive and Gemma from Nonfic Books. I will leave all of their information plus the challenges and whatnot down below. Now they started this just to get people reading more nonfiction. Um, so if you don't read any nonfiction, maybe pick up one book during the month of November. If you normally read one, pick up two three, pick up four, so on and so forth. Um, they did include four challenges for people if they wanted to um, try to meet those. You don't have to though. So it's kind of, you know, just read a nonfiction book. But if you can complete some of the challenges, that'd be great too. Um, one is to read a nonfiction book that is fascinating to you. One is to read one about an important topic something that you find important. One is to read a new nonfiction book. Now that doesn't have to be a brand speaking new one, but something that's um, either new to you or a topic that might be new to you. And then to read something that might be considered controversial, whether that's just the title is a little controversial to be reading out of public or the subject matter is actually controversial. Um, it's kind of, you know, with all of the challenges, they're just a little open-ended. It's your interpretation of what that kind of means. Um, so I'm really excited to get into reading some nonfiction books because I haven't, since I started this channel, I just haven't really read much nonfiction, but I knew nonfiction November was a thing. I knew it was coming up. So I've kind of been hoarding my nonfiction books as well. I would like to get through a big chunk of them, but I don't know how many realistically. I'm going to at least go for a goal of six nonfiction books during the month of November. I created a nonfiction TBR jar because I was having such a hard time narrowing it down to just six of my nonfiction books that I decided to create this jar and just pick six books out of here. And if they fit into the categories for the challenges, great. And if they don't, if I have time, I will try and pick up another few. So let's just get into the picking. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pick out of my jar. So the first nonfiction book in November that I will be reading will be Me Talk Pretty One Day. Me Talk Pretty One Day by David Sedaris is a collection of short stories um, based on his real life experiences and the Me Talk Pretty One Day part I think comes from him learning how to speak French. So this will be an interesting read. The next book on my November nonfiction TBR will be Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil. Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil, written by John Berendt, um, is about a true crime story. Um, it's a nonfiction account of this crime that happened in Savannah. Shots were fired in one of its grandest mansions and they don't know whether it was uh, murder or something else. So this is just him exploring that true crime. So that sounds very, very interesting and like it's something that's right up my alley. I love true crime nonfiction. So I am excited to get to reading this one. The third book for my TBR will be The Hungry Ocean. This book, The Hungry Ocean, written by Linda Greenlaw, is about her experience on a sword fishing boat. Um, it says that the excitement starts immediately, even before Greenlaw and her five-man crew leave the dock and doesn't stop until the last page. I love watching movies like this. Um, I've never actually read a book, a nonfiction book that was set in the ocean. So that will be really um, something different and new to me. So that might fit that new challenge. The fourth book on my TBR will be Look Me In The Eye. Look Me In The Eye by John Elder Robinson. Rob Robinson? Robeson, I think, is a story about his life with Asperger's. I showed this in a recent haul and I'm excited that I actually picked it out of my TBR jar because I wanted to make it a priority. If I had not picked it, I probably would have still fit it in somewhere in the month. So I'm glad to um, be able to read this during Nonfiction November. The fifth book in my Nonfiction November TBR will be The Measure of a Man. The Measure of a Man is Sidney Poitier's um, autobiography. I have had this on my shelf for 
a couple of years and I just never got around to reading it. So now I'm really excited to have an excuse to actually force myself to sit down and read it because I'm sure I'm gonna love it. I love autobiographies, I love memoirs, I love biographies. They're just really my nonfiction cup of tea. Um, so this will be definitely um, something that I'm very, very excited to get to. And my sixth choice will be The Nazi Officer's Wife. The Nazi Officer's Wife was written by Edith Hahn Beer with Susan Dworkin, and it is how one Jewish woman survived the Holocaust. Now, I read a ton of fiction um, books based on World War II, so this will be a very um, interesting look at a nonfiction um, account of something that happened during World War II. So I am definitely um, looking forward to reading it and hopefully maybe gaining um, a little bit more insight into that time period in our history. So these are the six books that I will be starting with for nonfiction November. Um, I assume um, that I will probably read a few more than that. So probably mid-November, I will reevaluate and break out my nonfic um, TBR jar again, because I would love to be able to fit in um, a few more. But six, I figured, was a good number to start with. If I don't get to more than six, I will feel satisfied with at least reading six books. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone um, joins in. Please just read one nonfiction book. I really think nonfiction books are sometimes underrated. And um, even myself, I don't read them sometimes as much as I want to. I have a ton of nonfiction books on my shelves. I just don't always um, get around to picking them up. So I love that there's a whole month kind of dedicated to this genre and I will be trying to read as much nonfiction as I can. Of course, during the month I have, you know, a couple of buddy reads and I do have some library books that I would love to be able to finish reading and get those back to the library so um, I can then, you know, just concentrate on my nonfiction. But we'll see how the month goes. We'll see how busy I am with work and whatnot and we'll just take it from there. Anyway, I hope you guys post your own TBR videos. If you do, please link them below and I will definitely go and check them out. I hope you guys have a great week and happy reading.